Times like these are few and far between for Steve Buschel and his son Shane. Playing catch at dad's office are cherished moments for Shane because he knows while the Rangers are still in season, his father's time is limited. But once those bats are put away for good, Steve will be able to witness what the rest of the Metroplex has been seeing. One of the area's top quarterbacks carving up defenses with ease. I've missed a lot of my kid stuff being in baseball, whether you know from the oldest child now to Shane. I, I, I look at it as I was lucky enough last year, even with being with the big club in September, to work out where I could go watch and play. I, I got to see all of his games last year. You know, this year will be a little obviously a little different story and and yeah, of course it pains me to not be able to see it. He always has something to say. Um, I'm never perfect, and he, he knows the game just as well as I do. Um, and he always, he's encouraging, but he can tell me what I need to do and um, tells me what I did good and what I did bad. Shane has led the Vikings into the playoffs the last two years and should have them there again this year. Being a 6A starting quarterback since his sophomore year has really paid dividends for the experienced signal caller definitely helped out a lot. Uh, my sophomore year, the first time I started, um, it was a little rough, just kind of getting thrown in there. Um, it, was, it was tough, and just getting acclimated to the, to the tempo of the game, coming from freshman to varsity, it was, it was a little rough, but um, this last junior season definitely helped a lot, getting um, used to the tempo. He's got great mechanics, great uh, instincts in the pocket, uh, arm strength is out of the world, but what I've told other people about Shane is his character, his leadership skills, um, that, you know, I coordinated in the defense at South Grand Prairie against Shane when he was a sophomore. So I knew when he was a sophomore, he was going to be pretty special. Bouchel got national attention this summer when he stood out at the prestigious Elite 11 quarterbacks camp in Oregon, something that really caught the eye of his father. Making the finals or being invited to Oregon for the finals for the Elite 11, I think may have jolted some emotions in me that, that I never really had thought of. But I think for him to, to go through that semifinal and be selected to go to the finals for the Elite 11, I don't know, something kind of clicked in me like, you know what, gosh, he's gone out against some of the best quarterbacks in the country and, and people have thought enough of him to be invited to the finals and man, what a great honor that is. Last week, Bouchelle hit another milestone, becoming the fourth Arlington ISD quarterback to surpass 5,000 career passing yards and the first Viking ever to accomplish that feat. Despite three siblings going to Oklahoma and a father who was a college roommate with John Elway at Stanford, Shane chose to attend the University of Texas next year. They gave me a little hard time just, uh, just because that's, that's what they do. I'm the youngest kid. Um, but. I believe Texas is what uh, was best for me, and um, I followed through with it, and I don't think there's a better place than Texas. Bouchelle is a good baseball player as well. As a pitcher, he has a fastball in the low 90s. He has some interest in playing both sports at Texas, but football is his priority. I do know that had he put in as much time in baseball as he has put into football, you know, I think he would be an outstanding baseball player and probably one of the better in my opinion, not just because I'm a dad, but I think he could be a very, very good baseball player. I'm going to try to play both when I'm at the University of Texas. Um, football's first priority, though, and um, Coach Strong and uh, Coach Augie said they'll uh, do what's best for me and fit a schedule in there that can make me do both. So hopefully I'll be able to do both when I'm up there.